Well, Steph, thank you very much for, for talking to us today. Um, first of all, obviously a new club for you. How have you settled in? How are you finding the environment? I think I've settled in quite well. I think um, from the moment I got here, the club have been very welcoming and uh, that's what they are. Manchester City want to make sure that everybody's settled and it's important that you're settled off the pitch um, so that you can go and perform on the football pitch. And um, I've enjoyed every second so far and hopefully um, in some more enjoyable moments in the coming season. Um, and looking ahead to the new season, with the quality of players that Manchester City have brought in, what are you expecting? What do you think the team's chances are? Um, I think you're right in terms of we have got quality players and we've got we've brought good individuals and we have a good squad together. And um, I think because it's our first season, we haven't really got anything to go off last season, how we maybe want to improve. And we've only been together for three to four months as a new club, as a new squad, a new management. And I think very much the philosophy is to just see how each game goes and uh, try and improve on them games and see what we did well but then also go and focus on what we can maybe do better and I think um, in terms of targets we haven't really set ourselves any targets it's just all about just as I said just taking each game as it comes and just go from there. Um, and obviously you know what it takes to win trophies to get silverware. Um, do you think this team has what it takes yet to do that to come back this season with something? Um, I think it's hard to judge so far I mean we've played one competitive game against Redden and um, we managed to do really well that game. We had probably 80% of the possession and um, it was a game that we all were dying to win. And I think it's good that the girls have experienced what winning feels like. And I think that was very ev evident when I was at Arsenal and was that the girls wanted to win at all costs, no matter if you're playing badly. We, we'd always try and pull a result together. And I think um, as a new team and as new individuals that are maybe not as experienced at the level, it's important that they try and get that feeling and like that feeling. and. Um, try and be successful because this is what this club wants is to be successful and I'm no different a lot of the players are not different we want success and we're ambitious and we want to challenge for all the trophies and I think in terms of confidence Sunday was good for us to go and win and be in the next round of the FA Cup but we go again on Thursday and we know that we've got prepared properly and be focused for that one. Um, yeah and obviously it's tight to hold as Liverpool to start on Thursday. Um, is there a uh, feeling among the players that that's kind of a battle between the two teams that might be towards the top of the table at the end of the season that might be challenging? Um, I think we haven't really specifically looked at teams and said okay this is the one that we want to definitely beat because they're going to win the title it's, the league's meant to be competitive and I can safely say that all the teams are going to be fighting for the league title, it's going to be fixtures where you're not going to be able to call who the winner's going to be and I think that's important for women's football in general that the league is competitive, that was the whole aim of the Super League was to so that fans couldn't predict who was going to win or people were going to be winning 8 9 nil. I think that's what's impressed over the last two or three years in the league is that nobody can really judge who's going to win. I mean, Liverpool won the league last year and normally that was Arsenal before. So in terms of how competitive games are and for us as a club, we haven't really singled out clubs and said we, we compete about this one. We're competing against seven other clubs in this league and we want to stay in this league as much as we possibly can, but we also want to grow as a club and grow as a team. Um, and obviously this pre-season pre has been a bit of a revolution really here at Manchester City. Um, what do you think the kind of investment and the recognition of, of the club does for the women's game? I think it's brilliant. It's a benchmark for other clubs to try and reach the standard that Manchester City are trying to aim for. And they want to do things properly. They want to be professional, hopefully, in the next few months that a lot of the girls will become professional and train full time and not have to concentrate on work because there's only a few of us that are professional. and. Um, I think that's the ultimate aim of the club is to make sure that we do have a, f a women's professional team and um, but the standards that Manchester City have set already are sky high and they always want to be the best and they want to try and set them standards so that people can come try and compete and go oh okay Manchester City are doing it properly and they want the best for the women so I think that but that's about the whole club really whether you're under eight in the academy set up or you're part of the EDS squad or your senior team or the women's team it's if you're related to Manchester City and you're under their umbrella, they want their teams to be successful.